Hey, Arnold. So, you're looking for a job as a programmer. And what? You've only yeah. completed a two-day programming course online? Come on. But in Roblox, in general, you can make games without knowing how to program. True, very few people manage to create a game where they can actually make some money. The very idea of the platform arose back in 1989 with the aim of creating a simulator for studying physics. The beta version of Roblox was introduced in 2004. That is, Roblox is older than the average player. In 2016, Roblox only had 10,000 accounts. In 2019, a billion. Can you imagine how much money you could make? But doing it on the cheap won't work. An initial investment is needed. The first investment in Roblox was $560,000. Tic-tac-toe? Arnold, do you really think anyone is going to fall for this? Wow, you convinced them to give you money. A very rash decision on their part. It looks like someone is going to spend all their money before the game is released. A really great game can be made by just a few people in a garage. It's not like everybody needs to make a new Google. Don't celebrate just yet. So, Arnold, it's time to repay those loans with interest. You may have thought that 1% interest wasn't a whole lot, but that's per day. That's 365% per year. And taking into account compound interest, you now owe several times more than you borrowed. Hundreds of thousands of bankruptcies are registered every year in America alone. 70% of startups fail in their first year, and another 25% over the next few years. You really don't have enough money for this, Arnold. You're going to have to work for the next 10,000 years. Now, you have nothing to eat and nowhere to live. It seems that you're very passionate about Roblox and really oblivious to anything else around you. On Earth, every 10 seconds, 18 people die. Arnold, aren't you afraid of becoming one of them? Scientists have long struggled with the possibility of digitizing the human brain. Just imagine, you could exist forever in digital form in your favorite game. But for this, you need to encode every neuron in your brain. In the human brain, there are 16 and a half billion neurons. Well, obviously, there are clearly fewer neurons in your brain. Hey, you could become a Neuralink beta tester. Neuralink reads brain signals using chips. Not chips, Arnold, but chips. You know, the kind that are implanted in the brain. Great plan. But now this technology is only at the developmental stage. Doors is a horror game. Are you afraid of anything? Well, yes, in the computer, you're immortal. The main thing is not to waste time. Careful! In what? It doesn't hurt at all. Looks like Rush is approaching. This monster rushes across the room, and if you don't hide in time, he'll kill you. What did you think? Immortality has never been free. You have to pay 30 Robux for your resurrection. To earn Robux, you can, for example, watch ads. Lots of boring ads. And you have to do this every time, forever. So it's better not to lose. Be bold, Arnold. Remember, you can't die. Someone's coming. Get in the closet. But if you stay too long, hide a monster who lives in the closet and doesn't like guests will appear. Arnold, be careful, it's an ice monster. You can't look at them or you lose your life. Here's the answer. You have to figure out how to deal with the eyes. This seems to be a pretty good way to achieve immortality. Of course, that is until someone turns off the computer. Or not. Let's check how the Earthlings act under conditions of fear. Uh, is this doors really scary? I peed in fear. By the way, don't drink the juice. He's done 10,000 hours indoors. He doesn't look scared. Oh. And let's turn on weightlessness. Like in outer space. So, Arnold, are you ready to play the game in space? Well, or just fly by. On Earth, gravity holds you down, so jumping and flying away doesn't work. But if you can gain enough speed, then you can overcome the gravity of the Earth. The force of gravity and the force of inertia balance each other out, and you could fly safely in zero gravity around the Earth. Moving around in weightlessness isn't easy.
And certainly not with your lack of grace. Arnold, it seems you've discovered a new type of fuel, hydrogen sulfide. It can help you deal with the monsters. Luckily, you're not the only one who missed pre-flight training. Careful, Arnie. Looks like you broke the seal. Due to the open lock, the balance of gases is all out of whack. Get your suit on, Arnold! Hooray! You did it! But now there's another problem. How are you going to hear the monsters now? I think you'll just scare away all the monsters yourself. No, you're not deaf, Arnold. Sound simply can't travel in a vacuum. Sound travels in waves. Vibrating object transmits its vibration to neighboring molecules or particles. In space, air molecules are so far apart that they can't transmit vibrations. No air, no sound. So it's better you just sit in the closet. As long as they let you anyway. Houston, we have a problem. Is this the last door? I wonder what's behind it. Arnold, hold on, it's not over yet. Are you trying to get a job again? Well done. But without an education, you can only be a janitor. And not even that. There are enough people from other countries with three degrees and are ready to take on any job. So maybe you'll finally finish school. By the way, the first schools appeared in ancient Sumer about three to 4,000 years ago. In Sumer, school was a privilege and only boys were taught there. So you're in luck, Arnold. Computers haven't been invented yet, so you have to write on soft clay tablets. Ooh, what a mess. Yes, you're very lucky to have been born in the 21st century. What, they won't let you go to school because you're an adult? Hmm, we need to look for some unusual schools. Look, it's a door school, and you're already a fan of this game. Go on in. The first lesson is algebra. <laughs> Didn't you read the flyer? The teachers here are monsters. It's very efficient. Arnold, didn't you learn the multiplication table? But alas, in vain. Maybe this school also uses corporal punishment. No, Arnold, you doofberry. I mean, real punishments. Children were beaten for poor performance in ancient Egypt. And in South Korea, for example, a ban on corporal punishment came only in 2010. In the modern world, school is a standard life stage. But not all children have the opportunity to go through this. So many people use sports to rise up the social ladder. Run fast, Arnie, or you'll end up as someone's lunch. To heck with this school. You already know how to read. Almost 20% of humanity can't read and write. So math ain't your thing, and sports tire you out. But I know you love plants and animals, especially animals, especially fried ones. Yay, biology. Hmm, this teacher seems to have his own views on evolution. Perhaps you should choose another school. He just loves ordering crap from online stores. Why do you need this stuff, Arnie? You want to make a real-life version of Minecraft. Easy schmeasy. Did you know that Minecraft is the second best-selling game in the world after Tetris? And the very first version was created in just six days. So which is better? Minecraft or real life? It'd probably be cool if when life seemed too difficult, you could choose an easier mode. Here you need fear, neither scary stuff nor hunger. But it's really not that interesting. Let's choose survival mode. Now we have to act like in real life. Find food, build a house, defend yourself, and gain experience. Of course, it's much easier to do it in the game. With just one pickaxe, you can cut down a tree that will hang in the air, and you can get stoned by just breaking it for a few seconds. A day here lasts just 20 minutes, and even your pitiful, pixelated face can get someone's attention. You can eat as much fast food as you want, and you won't get fat. That's a plus. You'll always be comfortable any time of the year, and you don't even have to buy clothes. And you can use a cactus in your house instead of a trash can. It can make any object disappear. If you're bored, you can rename a sheep, and it will shimmer in different colors. And yes, here, you can just meet a sheep on the street. Don't forget, it's Minecraft. Time to go home. Oh yeah, I forgot, it's easy to get your house stolen or destroyed. Looks like game over.
There are approximately 920 quadrillion blocks in the entire world of Minecraft in all dimensions. One streamer completely kicked butt, mining 32 million blocks in just 2,500 hours. Arnie, you can do it, but you're going to have to sacrifice your time and your health. Every hour of extended sitting reduces your life by 22 minutes. And for those who sit for 11 hours, life is reduced by 40%. Plus, there's diabetes, obesity, heart disease, and early death. Oh, Arnie, did you already build your own castle out of sand? This ain't gonna work. You need a Minecraft takeover team. The best team. Ready. Now it's much easier to play. Or maybe not. During a game, one's eyes blink only four times per minute. Due to this, the protective film of the eyes quickly dries out. And if you add the action of heaters, then you, Arnie, now feel a hellish pain. But for you, this ain't nothing. After all, soon your mighty army will take over the world of Minecraft. It remains only for you to press the button and give the order. But where are your fingers? You've been playing too long. Your brain no longer can distinguish between reality and gameplay. Arnie, you seriously need a rest. You're already starting to look like a creeper. What are you doing? You'd better go out for some fresh air. Well, that's not the same. Why do you look so surprised? You opened a dimensional portal and the universe threw you into a GTA 5 game. Welcome to Los Santos. Are you ready to become the richest and most powerful man in the city? Get in the car and let's go. Meet Michael, one of the three main characters of the game. What about the first mission? Show us your shooting skills, Arnie. So, more to the point, it's no secret that Los Santos is totally criminal and a very dangerous city. To begin with, I propose we change your image. Otherwise, you look like a Minecraft fan. A couple of brutal tattoos certainly wouldn't hurt. Now, you're a real gangster ready to rob a bank. Plan is this. You quietly enter the building, shoot the armored glass out, blow up the vault door, and take all the gold. Now let's blow this taco stand. To run faster, in GTA, you don't need to run, but to jump. Did you know that the real weight of the weapons and gold that you now have is over half a ton? But in GTA, it doesn't matter. They're right behind you. You need to hide. And do Doing this is very simple. You just need to hide in a quiet place, and after a while, they'll forget about you. Wow, look! You've done really well, Arnold. Now you can safely spend your money on parties, expensive suits, buy up all the real estate in the city, and wake up to the most beautiful view from your window. But this gets pretty boring pretty fast. Did you forget? You're a real gangster now, Arnie. Oh, yeah! The extreme car chase! It's really cool! Move, Arnold! Or you get shot! An airplane? Has like if you know how to fly in GTA. Hmm, it seems you're out of luck, Arnold. Somehow you've ended up in a modified GTA with a giant megalodon. All right, you're wasted, Arnold. Mission failed. Wait, Arnold, you survived! What is this? New GTA! We're holding an Among Us style party. It's a popular game with over 500 million players and more than any other game in history. With 97% of players playing the free version on mobile devices, but most of the revenue is generated from the paid PC version. Of course, we're playing the free version. If it's free, I'll play as well. And I chose Brown for a reason, because he's kicked out less than 65% of the time. In more than 90% of votes, people choose to kick out black, and it's the exact color you have, Arnold. Let the games begin. The most important thing is to act quickly, because you can be killed at any time. And here's the first murder. Don't worry, we have a lot of detectives here. They'll immediately figure out that you're not the imposter. Oops. I'm pretty sure you were thrown under the bus here, Arnold. It's time to get the hell out of here before you're chucked out into space. You need to complete tasks in the game to make it clear to the rest of the players that you're not an imposter. Whoops. This room is already occupied. Let's not disturb this couple. 
There's a new task. You need to extinguish the fire in the electrical room. Looks like it worked. They believe you. Come on, help out this player. I think I saw a fire extinguisher. Arnold, someone is seriously trying to frame you. Moreover, according to statistics, the electrical and admin rooms are the most dangerous places. If you're actually an imposter, you need to blow up the engine and win the game. It's not working. That's cool, Arnold. So you aren't an imposter. Congratulations. Careful. Got you, my friend. Forgive me. We had fun. But now you and I have to part ways. Distinguishing virtual reality from reality is becoming more and more difficult every day. Ooh, deja vu. Calm down, you paranoid pinhead. Stray animals often break into houses to find food. Or maybe the world around you is a simulation. Relax, buddy, it's an optical illusion. If you change your viewing angle, everything falls into place. But after all, truth be told, everything you see really is just a figment of your brain's imagination. Light entering your retina is converted into an impulse that transmits information to the visual image processing system. From there, the signal goes to your brain and you see what you see. And when, woo, woo, what a beauty, hmm. Another glitch or a consequence of popular trends in mass markets. Such synchronicity can make you think you're losing your mind. Yes, Arnold, you're right. This definitely needs to be recorded. But take your phone out of your pocket slowly and carefully, buddy. Or the police might think that you're reaching for a weapon. This is how the illusion works. The reticular formation in your brainstem becomes excited. Hey, where are you going, you coward? Arnold! Who's this? No, no, no! Don't even think about it! This is not the Matrix! That's a bad idea, Arnold. Almost as bad as making a sequel to the legendary trilogy. Meet Arnold is a hallucination, and the effects are now 300 times stronger. And Arnold's brain turns into goo. In fact, just like him, this requires serious medical intervention. What the heck? Am I, am I glitching now too? Things are electrified. It seems a serious duel is brewing. A card duel. Let's see what you have in your hand, Arnie. Maybe we'll find something interesting. Oh, God. In 1993, Magic the Gathering gave a real boost to collectible card games. Their value depends on the uniqueness of the cards and their condition. For example, the most expensive card featuring Pikachu is valued at $5,275,000. But just by sticking it in your pocket, its value instantly drops to just $50. That won't do, Arnold. If you want to be the best, you and your friend need to take on the fate of a real Pokemon trainer. Stand in one place and don't leave it for all of your life. Yes, for the most part. In the world of Pokemon, trainers do exactly this until the next champion comes and grinds you and your stuffed animal into dust. But that's not the worst part, Arnold. Standing in one place for so long is bad for the intestines. Reduced blood flow disrupts their work and causes constipation. Patient. After a week, your legs will have bruises the size of quarters. After a year, your spine will deform, and your hip bones will compress all your organs up to your lungs. Like any Pokemon trainer, you should have a rival. And here he is, Seiko Shidori. Look, he's collected badges from all the leagues. He even defeated Whitney's mill tank. His parents died in a car accident, but he has two holo cards of them. But most importantly, he successfully speed ran Pokemon Rangers while performing open heart surgery. Did you know that speedrunners emerged in the 70s with the release of the first video games? The average gameplay of Pokemon Red and Blue on Game Boy is 25 hours, while the speedrunner record is 1 hour 50 minutes and 17 seconds. You, Arnold, take even longer to make your bed. Forget everything I've told you, Arnold. Badges and heart surgeries don't matter if you don't believe in your Pokemon. Seiko Shidori only believes in power, but real power is the ability to love and understand. Congratulations, Arnold! You forever etched your name into the world of Pokemon. Although, your card is still cheaper than a foil Galarian Stunfisk for $2.25.
The world of cosplay has its own stars. This girl is Inako. She has one and a half million followers on her Instagram, and she earns $32 an hour. That's $278,000 a year. Wait, where did she go? Over there! Arnold, don't let her get away! Wow, this is Seiko Shidori, former captain of the Sky Guard. As a child, he was admitted to the Heaven Corps, where he defended his country from the Shingami, vampires, pirates, and girls und Panzer. When all his friends turned away from him, he was left alone with the darkness inside of him. Arnold, you are now in the most popular anime genre, Shonen. Shonen is a story about a hero that starts out at the bottom, then makes his way to the top, finally defeating his main opponent. You have to train hard to get stronger and understand his philosophy. Forward is the only way. Meet anime high school culture, an important period in the life of any anime teenager. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, in anime, Every girl is perfect. For some men, this overestimates the requirement for their significant other. And often enough, this rivalry is won by the wife, the drawn wife. Arnold, it seems like you were born to be an anime. A utopia like this can only be prevented by Gundams from the mecha and kaiju genres. To create an anime, you first have to draw a manga. Manga is pretty much just like a comic book, only you read it backwards. In Japan, they use more paper to print manga than for toilet paper. Anime has grown from cheap animation into an entire thriving industry. By the way, those two girls are your stepsisters. Don't worry, it's okay in the etchy genre. There he is, and you are prepared for this battle. Release your Bankai, and don't waste your Furioku. Hajime, harness the power of the founding Titan, control your Reiatsu. Seiko Shidori is weak. Only darkness is left at his disposal, and you have the light given to you by friendship. Remember what this is all for, and don't let anyone knock you off your feet! Good morning, Arnie Pig. Look, it's the famous Peppa Pig family. You're so lucky, Arnold. So many people would love to be in your shoes right now. Where are your manners, Arnold? The Peppa family are very conservative and intelligent British natives. Please, don't embarrass me. The Peppa Pig series has been translated into more than 40 languages and has been shown in 180 countries. Annual revenues exceed $1 billion. Approximately the same amount earned by Al Capone and his Chicago gang. Are you absolutely sure you want to put this business in jeopardy? Now it looks like the real cartoon series. Mummy Pig teaches you how to hold a spoon, and Peppa teases Daddy Pig about his weight. The format of the three minute series very quickly found its audience. During this time, the authors show a familiar everyday situation and teach kids how to live life. Arnold, these are the famous. Puddle jumps. Look, everyone's in their branded shoes. Stop, where are you going? We already talked about this. Arnold, the police won't help you because Mrs. Rabbit, their family friend, works there. And now you're going to play a terribly interesting game. Hungry Pig. Peppa's popularity has gone far beyond the show. In just one year, the company sells... What the heck is going on here? Well, Arnold, I've had enough. Take care of yourself, buddy. A dating app? That's smart. Your head fits perfectly on this jacked up body. <clears throat> Lucky you. <gasps> but now, in order to go on a date, you have to spend 18 hours and 45 minutes on a plane. Because this is the longest flight in the world. Huh? And you screwed up again. <sighs> Now you have to complete three tasks to meet your chosen one. Or just survive. Let's see what your advantages are. Small brain, feeble hands, fast food lover. Everything is like in real life. Now choose your skin. 
You can't go on a date empty-handed. Find something, Arnie. Hmm, the biggest flower in the world. Pew! It stinks like rotten meat. If your girlfriend was a fly, she'd appreciate the fragrance. These cute creatures simply want to give you malaria, anthrax, or diarrhea. Nothing crazy. What, they did already? There aren't many public toilets in the jungle, but instead you can do it like our ancestors did. This is a scavenger, Arnie. They pick up everything that stinks. It'd be better if you washed in the morning. Get on the vines! They can handle even an elephant! Hmm... After one and a half hours, the gastric juice of the python will completely digest your bones. You need a knife to cut the belly. That would have saved you on a date with a woman, but not with a python. I caught a python. Let's see what's inside it. Only I can be the survival expert here. Get out! Get yourself in order. You have a date soon, what? and you're covered in mucus and slime. You survived and didn't even lose a single finger. Jumanji! <laughs> we don't choose our destiny, it chooses us. Arnold, look out! Wow, looks like someone spilled radioactive waste here. Hey, Arnold, now you can be a superhero. Did you know that Marvel's Wolverine was originally going to be called Badger Man? So in this case, you are Beef Skunk Pecker Man. Cool. This is the first time in history when a superhero has three superpowers. But you're not the only one with superpowers, Arnie. For example, a sword master from Japan, Isa. Machi is able to cut a bullet traveling at a speed of 320 kilometers per hour. Slavisha Pajkic from Serbia can literally handle 20,000 volts of electricity, and he can also cook food by running electric current through his body. Wim Hof from the Netherlands is able to withstand below zero temperatures for hours and even climb Mount Everest in his underpants. What about you, Arnold? Wow, congratulations! I see you've gained the ability to hammer nails with your skull, build dams, and even breed superflies on your own body. But seriously, if you think your superpowers are ludicrous, check out DC Comics' Dog Welder, whose power is to weld dogs to his enemies. Zeitgeist from the X-Men, after an all-night drinking binge, discovered he had the ability to puke acid. Did you know Batman's net worth is $98 billion? Seems like being a superhero can be a very lucrative business. And the very first copy of the Superman comic book was sold at auction for three and a half million dollars. And judging by the number of requests on Google, Spider-Man is now more popular than the president of the United United States. Arnold, I know this is very cool, but still, the main job of a superhero is not to bask in glory, but to fight for good. Hey guys, the world is in danger. The world is doomed without you. Okay, don't say I didn't warn you. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. The lucky first tourist to win a free trip to the moon is ticket holder number 2871. And here's the lucky ducky himself. Meet Arnold. The average distance from Earth to the moon is 384,467 kilometers, and every year the moon moves three and a half centimeters further away. In the entire history of humanity so far, only 12 people have stepped on the surface of the moon. You will be the 13th. 
I agree, it's not the luckiest yeah. number, but just imagine, there'll be no one on the moon except for you. True, this ain't Miami. The temperature is minus 173 degrees Celsius. And everywhere you go, there's radiation 200 times higher than on Earth. So you can't do it without a spacesuit. But in the meantime, as a tourist, you can check into the hotel. Although construction isn't slated until 2025. Let's go to the far side of the moon. Especially because there's a bunch of cool equipment left there by astronauts. Arnold, jump into the lunar rover, start the engine, and drive. Believe it or not, there are a few lunar seas. Only, they're not filled with water, but solidified lava. Arnold, wrong pedal! Hit the brake! Congratulations, Arnold. You just smashed into the U-22 Chinese lunar rover. And you damaged your spacesuit. Oh, no.